jumped into. Those kids are huge. Okay. This may this is not our last one, but it's our second to last one together. Like I said, Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill area. If you want to get in the pool or go in the woods or you know be kind of shady, criminal mind style, and talk about comics, hit me up. Alright, then yes, then the, then the answer is absolutely yes. The best comics, Booze Cruise Reviews. Take a million. Go. Starting with shocker water related comics. Most of them. Not gonna, all, most of them. No, Sean and I are going to do one together. But we had a contest. I'm not going to say what the prize would have been because, hold on. Because now I'll just give it away another time. But what Brian Wood comic was dedicated to water, it's part of his demo collection. Nobody guessed it. You know why? It was really hard. You know what the, the title was? What? Fucking Water Breather! Okay, so. Water Breather. What it's about? It's about a dude who likes the water. I mean... Hey, the balls are out. Oh, well, mine are. Try to fix it. I don't have any. Okay, anyway, so what it's about is about a guy who gets trapped in water. And, you know, at first he's like, Oh my god, I'm gonna drown! But then he kind of gets used to it. And by the end of the comic, he's kind of one with the water. If you've read Brian Wood, it's a little more, it's, it's more than that. But, uh, he has a beautiful style of writing. And the art really lends to it. It's very fluid, just like it, it's... Have you ever been pissed off about something? Brian Wood is good to read. Because it's not just that pure on, like, hey, 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 beat things up angst. Like, his characters, like, portray their angst in various ways. And it's really, really nice. Like, I love the water, because... He wants all of his characters, in some way or another, to find peace. That's exactly what every demo run is about. It's about their, that character, that particular storyline, finding some kind of peace. By the way, Brian Wood, I'm going to hashtag you in this motherfucking shit, but the post-it And Becky run, Clunin. Yes. But the I love post -it, art, Becky. The post-it run, I love 3M. They're my favorite company in the entire world, and when you did that, I swear to God, top three comic book writers ever. You just, you got me. So. If you haven't read Demo, Brian Wood does a lot of good stuff. That's He's getting noticed for a lot of big stuff now. He's been very big for a long time. Okay, you're trying to do your separate one, which sounds like a joint one, because you had some shit to say. Yes. You got some shit to say to my team. Justice League Dark? Justice League Dark. Yeah! Amber did this on her first vlog last night. I right? did. It was so good. I was very, you know, I was very impressed. Very impressed. It's a new writer, Jeff. I, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Jeff Lemire, Jeff Lemire. No, he did Sweet Tooth. Yes, he's done Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. We will review that on our um, TPD show. But Sweet Tooth, if you're not reading it, it's uh, fucking he, amazing. He just left Frankenstein, um, which I loved. Frankenstein. Didn't he get canceled? No, Frankenstein's still going, going strong. Uh, Jeff left that and, and started to, and took over Justice League Dark with this issue. Um, I like all the characters in Justice League Dark, and up to this point, before this issue that Jeff took over, um, I liked it. the characters, but I wasn't a fan. It didn't come together. There was no continuity. It just was like a bunch of dudes that were pissed off. They were around each other, and it was the art was beautiful, but it was just it didn't uh, it didn't mesh. There was no cohesion. I wasn't a big fan, but I kept reading it, hoping that something good would come out of it, because it's like Satana and Dead Man and and John Constantine and Madame Xanadu and and Shade of Changing Man and all these amazing characters. Shade left that shit. Yeah, all these amazing characters. And I hoped something would happen, and I just I was about to give up hope, and then I heard Jeff was taking over, and I was like, all right, I won't give up yet. I literally did not cancel this book on my hold list because Jeff was taking it over, and I picked up the book yesterday, and it's the first book I read when I came home. And it fucking blew me away. Hey, three, three pages in, it no, was already better than no, the entire book. He looked before. at me because I'm here, and he's like, You've read Justice League Dark. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. Dude, the first three pages are better than all the entire issues put together. And he was correct. Because do you know who they're going to. Dude, do you know what? 
Argus comes into the picture. Yeah, a little bit of Argus. Yeah. Well, which is led up to with the uh, the New Fifty Two uh, Free Comic Book Day issue with Trinity War lead up kind of stuff. It, it, it bleeds from that with the Black Room and all that. Holy shit, it's good and like it really is. They actually make it a team. It's like a not a team in a Justice League sense, but a team more of in a Suicide Squad, a original Suicide Squad, like slash Secret Six sense, where it's like a bunch of people thrown together. Anyway, but wait, I want to uh, say a little bit about ahead, this. Wait. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> but wait. Go ahead. There's more. Hey, hurry up and wait. <laughs> no, the new Justice League Dark was really, really good. It was kind of slow and, you know, honestly, we're all looking to Suicide Squad. We were kind of <laughs> looking to... We all, we're all kind of looking to Suicide Squad to kind of fill the void of Secret Six. But it looks like Justice League Dark isn't... It's not filling the void, but it's doing more than we thought that they would. And who do they encounter? Well, hold on. If you... Come <laughs> The demon if coming from her point, if you like that thrown together team that doesn't want to work together but they have to, a la Suicide Squad slash Secret Six partially, um, basically the new Justice League Dark is going to be a core three team from what I've heard: Constantine, Zatanna, and Dead Man. That's going to be the three core members, and they're going to put people around them. And in this arc, starting out, they throw in um, a vampire. They got Black Orchid. They got Doctor Mist. Um, it's, it's a good book. It's well done. Um, it brings them together in that team that isn't a team. Old Suicide Squad kind of thing. The, the John Ostrander run. Um, it's really good. The art's beautiful. It makes it right. And if you're an old Vertigo fan, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you like old Vertigo, especially if you like Neil Gaiman in any way, what? you must read this book. It will blow the last page alone, the last panel. Alone will blow you away. Oh my you god! You have to read it. Titties on the back. Can we do a spoiler Titties alert? Titties on the Can we do a spoiler yeah. alert? Amber's touching my noodle from the back. I kind of like it. <laughs> anyway, I really have good a book. Noodle. I'm I'm a firm believer that anything Jeff Lemire, anything he touches is gold. I love everything it's he's doing true. right now. Um, I can't stress enough how much you need to read Sweet Tooth. I think it's Sweet got a lot really of hype, good. but as it goes on, it gets more in depth. It gets more complicated, but. What he's touching on is something that's not, I mean, it's been touched on, but the way he's doing it is really awesome, so you should totally read it. Okay, so, next, Green Lanterns, New Guardians. Now, I just want to say something. Tony Bedard, great dude, good person. I really, really like him as a writer and as a dude. His wife is actually pretty awesome, too. I met her at Megacon. Totally awesome. Thank you. Green Lantern's new guardian. Tony Burke commented on my balls on the Facebook. I know, and he. Oh, Those are my balls, by the way, Tony. I'm just saying, this is going to be a shorter view because we're running out of time. But okay. Like First of all, everything leading up to the new guardians with the rings coming to the one person. I don't want to spoil this because I really do want people to read this coming to the one person and it's like oh my god what's going on <clears throat> and they all go and they're like where am I getting all these rings you know they do go to uh, Oa and they're like what's going on and they they ask the guardians oh. but yeah motherfucking rainbow oh my god get the rainbow get the rainbow yes seriously I'm just saying rainbow is a sign that some really big breasted or small breast okay so yes, something happens with the Blue Lanterns. You know who comes into this? Blue Beetle. And regardless of some people's opinion of this show, I think my incestuous brother Sebastian, who does the fic, which you should watch. That's it. Oh boy. He knows a lot about What's Blue beer? Beetle. What's specifically beer? Ted Cord. So if you're What's interested in that, totally watch fic. But yeah, City something ha I'm not spoiling this because it's so good. Tony, you did a really, really, really good job. Can you guess And I am, uh, the way everything's tying in with like the Green Lantern Corps and everything and the Red Lantern Corps, Jeff Johns, Train Bedard, you guys are doing an awesome, awesome, awesome job. I really think that people need to pay more attention to this because with Blackest Night and Brightest Day, People really liked it, but they didn't do with the New 52. They didn't know 
how much it was going to go over because Flashpoint was in the middle. Ah, oh, Sydney. My dog is awesome. He's been drinking beer. Great. All right. Hand it over. Hand it over. Oh, the concrete doesn't want to know. Like I'm saying. And he's part of Invest Comics, just like me. We just do different takes on it. Uh, yeah, you guys should totally uh, be into that. Sebastian and Sean, you should, you should watch them. They do good stuff. They do. They review a lot of books. We do. We do a few, but they do a lot. So check them out. They do. They do most. Of, yeah. So and definitely Sean is check a sexy, out. Sexy, sexy beast. Definitely check out uh, Green Lantern New Guardians. This is the winner. <laughs> Give me that shit, woman. No, it's mine. Oh, oh, that Okay, I'm not, I'll take something, then you take something. Okay. Here, take. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, not, don't pour it. Pour it. <laughs> That's like cum, but alcohol. I feel like, hold on, let me. You feel like me. <laughs> Remind me of like, smoke grenades or something, like actually pull a pin and throw it in and blow some shit up. Let me start over. I'm known as a DC guy, an independent guy. Image, love you. Um, IDW, Dark Horse. Uh, I just found out Dark Horse. I just found out Dark Horse is doing Groove versus Conan. I'm fucking stoked about that. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give a little Marvel love because um, I give them a lot of hate. Not hate. I give them a lot of shit. Disappointment. But there are some some things Marvel does really well. One of their movies, fucking Avengers. Best comic movie of all time. Like, it was fan fucking tastic. And why was it fantastic? Amber's all floating away over there. She'll be back in a second. I think she was dead on her little floaty. Um, anyway, Avengers, if you haven't seen Avengers, you're fucking Robert, stupid. Go see it. it. Um, anyway, um, Shield by Jonathan Hickman. A fantastic book. It was a six issue mini and then going into another mini, which I'm assuming is going to be six issues. But after issue four, it's been like a three month hiatus. And those happened. Um, it's that very Renaissance man, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, um, Galileo, Newton, uh, Nostradamus, uh, everything like the the hidden secrets of the Marvel universe. Like if Dan Brown wrote the Da Vinci Code, but actually did some fucking research, it was a better goddamn. Oh my God! I agree with this so much. <laughs> Titties on my back. I have my humanities, religion, English major, Titties and I had back. actually hold on. I actually had someone ask a teacher, can we do our uh, last report on the Da Vinci Code? Fuck you, you dumb fuck! I'm done. Uh, by the way, I had titties on my back. Anyway, uh, Hickman does his research. Um, it's good. You can drink some of mine. Oh, hold on. Um, it's, it's, if you're into that kind of thing, it's fascinating. And it's, it's, it also has the, the, the father of, of Reed Richards, the father of, of Tony Stark. Um, if I have to explain who those people are, then you shouldn't be watching this fucking video. Um, and my favorite, favorite thing is it has, I won't tell you who or where, but until you read it, but it has Nikola Tesla, who was, oh, fuck Thomas Edison. Nikola Tesla. Amazing. Big deal. But anyway, um, they wrote the first six issues a year, year and a half ago, whatever. It was great. And they continued with this and the issue four it was like three months ago. So it's on the uh, it's on the Kevin Smith time frame. I love you, Kevin Smith, but you, your timing is terrible. Um, anyway, uh, check it out. It's a good book if you're into that that secret history kind of stuff. It's fantastic, and the art's really good. And um, they do their research, and I appreciate that. Like they really, they really. Ah, oh, I can't even share. It's great. But a little more Marvel love. Um, there are some Marvel books out there I really like. Um, the the current ongoing one I really like. Is Daredevil? It's it's amazing. Um, the art's fantastic. The writing is Mark Wade. Mark Wade like has found his home. Fury, and, a new one, awesome. And <laughs> I'll get to that. Um, this is well, there are Marvel books I like. There are there really are. Okay. Secret Avengers. Secret up. Avengers is really Hurry good. Up. Um, Avengers Academy is really good. Actually, I don't know of a bad Avengers book. Um, I just have problems with. Avengers Bruce X Men, I need more. <laughs> Alright. On to our okay. on to our co our co. 
We're going to review Aquaman. Oh Neighbors. Aquaman. I live in by Jeff Johns. Oh, Jeff okay. Johns. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. I need to say something. Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns. We met two years ago Jeff at Johns. MegaCon. We actually exchanged emails. You made some promises. I'm going to tag you on my fucking Twitter and Facebook. You promised me. Promised. Okay. Jeff Jones, please give her something so she stops choking me. <laughs> you promised me a female version of a Professor Zoom shirt. You know what? I don't care if it's a yellow shirt that fits my very voluptuous, big titty body. And it just says Thawne. Fucking give me that shit. Okay, hold on. So, yeah. Aquaman. I'll Jeff Johns, it. you've given me everything I've ever wanted. And that is a fantastic Aquaman. Okay, hold on. Let me do the first part. You can do the second part. No, but seriously. No, fantastic. Let me do the first part. Short version of the first half Aquaman, Prisoner of War, Prisoner of War. It's like, ah, oh, I'm totally gonna just fucking kill you and this Black Manta and he's like oh my god why are you gonna do this Prisoner of War is the best fucking character I've seen I in know years. and he's like okay you know what Black Manta guess what the fuck I have Sean Go. alright one I love you one I love Prisoner of War like in in the little bit of like lead up the game in the, in the previous issue of Aquaman was a cool fucking character and then this issue was like half of the issue was Prisoner of War Holy fuck. What a cool character. What a cool concept. Please don't kill him. If you do, please do like 50 issues of his of his back story. Like, holy shit, what a cool character. Like, everything about him is cool. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to say anything about him because it's so cool. Just go fucking buy this book. It was so amazing. I mean, it's Jeff John, so you expect gold. Oh, fuck that. You expect platinum. This man comes gold and shits platinum. Like... It's, it's 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 fucking Jeff Johns. He's my hero. I've got a dollar. <laughs> I've, I've got, got a golden got. ticket. I've got a golden ticket. No, take Jeff Johns. I think your Aquaman is fantastic. Um, I think your I think your Justice League is fantastic. Um, I, um, like a lot of people are giving it giving it strife, but I I think it's silly. I, I think it's a great book. Um, your Green Lantern I think is a little slow to start, but I think Aquaman is like. I love DC Universe. No one expected to be Aquaman part of the top two books. Aquaman, Aquaman and, and Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Seriously. Totally. You, if you can totally make Aquaman and Wonder Woman part of the top two DC books, you're fucking amazing. Okay, Aquaman is so good. It not only like you develop the character enough to like make it interesting and make it make you want to like him, but you, his the others, holy shit! Like, oh, I, I can't even describe it. I don't want to say anything because it'll ruin books. Like. Every, I, I like a I like a book that every issue is a cliffhanger. Every issue makes you fucking want to fight to get the next issue. And Jeff Johns, you're doing it right. You are so good. I like. Oh, I love the fact that you're a historian of DC. I love the fact that like you're Brian Michael Bendis. If he wasn't a fucking douchebag, oh maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, but I I love the fact that you do it right and and you're not afraid to change stuff and like. And, and revamp and, and like relaunch but it's amazing and uh, but Jeff Jones your, your, your best book is Aquaman and I love the fact that you're making him not only an amazing character but you're making him a fucking approachable readable character you're making like Everybody can pick this he book up no and love it. He is no longer a joke. He is no longer the bottom of the uh, food chain. Aquaman has climbed. It, it. You know what? Aquaman is on par with Wonder Woman and Batman. The best books in the DC Universe right now. Actually, I'll go three. The three best books in the DC Universe are, in no certain order, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Agreed! So, please, if you have something to say... Please let me know. Uh, Boost Cruise Reviews at gmail.com. We have Boost Cruise at Twitter. And then we have Boost Cruise Reviews at Facebook. It's fantastic. If you should follow any authors, Jeff Johns, Tony Bedard, Gail Simone, Jeff Lemire, 
All those people, you should totally follow. If you Look want us to review something, uh, or Amber, I'll help out. Um, just post it. You don't have to send it to us. We'll, we'll buy it. We'll, you know, just send, send us a link. If you want us to pay attention to something, send a link. We'll check oh, it out. Oh, by the way, everybody, 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 I'll do a B blog about this. Should be reading No Place Like Home. That's called the Vagina Blogs. Yes. Okay. So she has a, a, an ongoing one woman show called the Vagina Model Blogs. Look okay. at this. Pour some out from my homies. Uh, hey. No, right here, right here. Ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching Booze Cruise Reviews. This is Sean Koppel. I'm Amber, and you know thank what? Thank you for letting me be on your show, Amber. Hey, one more show with me and Sean Koppel, but after that, I need somebody else, so let me know. Thank you so much. Bye! <laughs> I think she paused a little bit. <laughs> and this one's to Gail Simone. To the only Bane writer ever. Gail? Really, I don't, I don't, I won't even read anything. Else. Even though a lot of people like late Nightfall and stuff, which I do like that run. I like all the Nightfall stuff. But after reading her version of Bane, I don't think anyone else exists. Like, she is the ultimate Bane writer. You knew. Me. You knew exactly who Bane was. Like, we cannot stress enough. Gail Simone. Awesome. I wish... I wish Ragdoll was my funny uncle. Oh, fuck me in the goat ass. Uh, let's put this over here for now. Why? Here, trade. Because no, I we, like that one. We have the base. <laughs>